All right, I'm Charles Ferrer with Falcon Operations Group with my partner. Anson Beck. And we're going to go over the proper stance and how to hold the rifle when it comes to using the AR or any other shoulder fired weapon system. So like everything else in life, we have to work with our foundation. In this particular case, we're going to start with our feet in contact with Mother Earth. Anson is standing in an athletic, semi-aggressive stance. And the reason for that is, is we're looking for stability. He's got a rifle that he's going to put out in front of him, and he's going to have to be able to shoulder that rifle, hold on to it properly, and still mitigate recoil. Okay, look at Anson's feet. In relationship to his upper body, his feet are slightly greater than shoulder distance apart. If you notice, his right foot is just slightly behind behind his left heel. His knees and his toes are pointed in the same direction towards his target. If Anson's toes were pointed off to the right and he was trying to shoot to the left, his natural body point of aim, his head, his center line, is now that direction and not any longer towards the intended target. If you have a hard time trying to figure that out, you can take your right foot, put your toes about to the middle part or rear portion of the arch, the cutout there in that left side foot if you're right-handed, and then just take a step apart. You want to get slightly more aggressive, you can bring your right foot slightly back. So your feet, good shoulder distance, slightly greater, nice athletic, aggressive stance. The weight are on the balls of his feet. Slight bend in the knee, and all of this is pointed towards that target. So this is your ideal athletic, aggressive rifle stance or pistol stance. As we move up, if you notice, Anson's got a really good grip. He's now gonna take the stock and put it more towards the center line of his body. It's not riding on the edge. He's not shooting with what we call a uh, stock over. So we wanna take this portion of the stock, put it more towards the center line, take this big deltoid, wrap it, envelop the stock as much as possible, and tuck this elbow and arm close to the body. That keeps this portion of integrating the weapon and your grip in relation shift to your body nice and tight. Now, on the reactionary side or support side, if you look at his arm, notice there's a slight bend in the elbow. With the reactionary side here and with what we call a bore over or a thumb and line, what we want to try to do is use as much muscle tissue and skeletal structure that God gave us as possible to help mitigate the recoil and getting closer out to the muzzle, the business end of the rifle will allow you to control the muzzle rise and where that round's impacting more so. One last time, start from the ground and work our way up as a recap. Position your feet, slightly shoulder distance apart. You want to get more aggressive, you can scoot your right foot back. Brings the heel up, your toes, your knees, and your hips are all in line. Shoulder the weapon system, put it more towards the center line, envelop it, take your reaction hand, slight bend in the elbow, good grip in the front end of the business end of the rifle, good grip right here, good landmark for the trigger finger, good cheek well position, line of sight with your target. That in a nutshell, folks, is down and dirty on your stance, proper grip and shouldering your rifle. So so for myself, Charles Ferreira and Anson Beck. Wow, you got to say your name twice. Good job, buddy. We here at Falcon, thank you for your time. Look forward to seeing more so on Recoil.